Good morning, good morning. This is Reverend Mel Cena Yancey White with Yancey Family Ministries. So glad to be with you another blessed Saturday morning. For this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Why? Because when I look around and think things over, my good days outweigh my bad. So I will not complain. I will rejoice and be glad. Amen. Thank you for tuning in today and spending time with me. I want to start giving my good morning shout out, starting with my loving husband, Reverend Johnny White, and to our Olive Grove Church family. Also, good morning to my sponsors, which is Yancey Family Ministries and Hope of Glory Ministries. And also a special good morning to my honoree sponsors, Brother Larry Downey and his lovely wife, Linda. I am indeed glad again to be with you. I want to share the word of God with you and I hope to also encourage you in music. For truly God has been good to all of us and we have nothing to complain about. For when we think things over, amen, when we look around and food is on our table and clothes are on our back, come on, we have so much to thank God for. And I believe this year we just need to be more grateful than we've ever, we should practice gratefulness in our daily language and our daily body language and and how we what we project to one another it should be with a grateful heart for what god has done is doing and getting ready to do in our lives amen i want just you to go with me to philippians Philippians, the fourth chapter, and just a few scriptures I just want to share with you this morning, praying that it encourages your heart. If you would go with me again, Philippians 4 and verse 14, and it reads, Notwithstanding, ye have well done that ye did communicate with my affliction. This is Paul. Now ye Philippians know also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving, but ye alone, ye only. For even in Thessalonica, ye sent once and again unto my necessity. Verse 17, not because I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. Amen. Verse 18, but I have all and abound. I am full, having received from Ephrodus and things which were sent from you, an odor of a sweet smell, a sacrifice, acceptable, well-pleasing to God. Verse 19, but my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. We we know these scriptures. We've heard them over and over and and, and we've heard them preach. But something just stood out to me on on, on this this week as I was reading this and and thinking on it. And, And in verse 17, not because I desire a gift. This is Paul saying, I, I, you, you reached out to me and I appreciate your care for me. And, and, and not that because I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. Um, if I may this morning, I would like to talk about my account. Um, my account, or, or we can change that to where I'm speaking to you, your account. Um, Paul said, um, not because I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. What Paul, I feel Paul is saying to them is that you reached out in my need, um, my necessity. Um, you reached out towards receiving and giving, he said, receiving and, and giving. And, and, and Paul was just admonishing them for reaching out. And, and, and we're in a season now to where we see so many people reaching out in this pandemic. They're making sure people are getting what they need. They're the food banks. They're different churches doing different things. Um, so many churches are on the on YouTube and Facebook and social media. 
media, just trying to get the word out, keeping, just pouring out to people to keep their spirits lifted and their hearts encouraged. And, and then these are the times that we are in. And I, and I praise God for these opportunities and for these times. And Paul is saying, thank you for reaching out. Thank you to all the churches for what you're doing. But and you're seeing to the needs of the people. But Paul is saying to Philippians, um, not that I necessarily in dire strait, not that I desire you to give unto me, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. What is Paul saying? He's saying, uh, my desire is that as you give, that it goes towards your account, that as you reach out to me, that as you see to the needs of those you know that are in need, that it goes towards your account. Come on, I, I, I now understand why some preachers, I know we frown upon them talking about giving and tithing and and when they want to do mission work and we're tired and we just want to sit down and watch TV all day and, and not be out and about and, and going and doing the work of the Lord. But Paul is saying, um, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. Um, this is what's going towards you. Come on, somebody, think about it, that, that, that God will open up the windows in heaven and pour you out blessings. Um, given, it shall be given unto you, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. This is towards your account. So I advise us in this season, I, I talked about unlikely places. You don't know when you give how God is going to reroute it back to you. Paul is saying that it goes towards your account. That God is seeing it. What did he describe it? He said a sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well-pleasing to God, to your account. But your motives have to be right as you give. Their care was all about Paul. They knew who he was. They knew he was making a, 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 a difference. And they knew he had made a difference in Philippi. Come on, with the Philippians. And, and they, they wanted to do this. And when we give, come on, when we pray. To, to give and, and show love and see to the needs of others, it goes to our account as a sweet smell, a sacrifice, acceptable, well-pleasing to God. That encouraged me because sometimes we get weary and well-doing. Come on, somebody. We're, those of us that are working faithfully in the vineyard, those of us that are, that are in tune with God to know what to do, and we're acting on the word of God. We're acting on on the voice of God, the command of God. Sometimes we get weary and well doing, but don't you get weary. Come on, come on. We got to, we got to encourage ourselves because here Paul is saying it may go to our account because we desire the work of the Lord and that it is a sweet smell. <laughs> come on. Don't think likely of the little gestures you do. Come on. The, the, the phone calls you make to others. Don't think light of it. Um, you doing it because you feel compelled to do it. God is telling you he's placing people in your spirit and you're reaching out. Don't think light of it for it, it is a sweet smell, a sacrifice, acceptable, well pleasing to God. However, God is placing on in your heart. Some people are just out in the vineyard. They're out in the in the highways and the byways and they're on the street corners and they're at the food banks and some people are just behind the, the computer doing certain things to push the gospel and you, you know we all have different gifts and God is using us in different ways but don't think light of what you're doing because you're not doing what somebody else is doing. You stay with what God has called you to do. Amen. And that is a sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well pleasing to God. God. So we just give God the glory today. Amen. For he continues to do great things. He keeps confirming to us that what we're doing is not in vain. Ah, that he sees it and, and that he receives it. He accepts the sacrifice you're making because it's going towards your account because your desire is to do the will of the Lord. Amen. To reach out to those. And that's what Paul was saying here to the church. So I ask you, what's in your account? What are you doing in the gospel, what seeds are you planting? How are you helping others? How are you reaching out to others? Amen. I want to play I believe on this morning. Because I truly believe that you, what you're doing is a sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well-pleasing to God. So I pray that this blesses you and encourage your heart. Just believe that God is getting ready to bless you. I believe. 
in the Word of God. Every word that's in the book, I believe God made man in his image. And everything he made, he said it was good. I believe he made the heavens and the earth and every living thing that lives within. I believe what the word says. Can I get a witness? Yes, I believe that with God all things are possible. Yes, I believe that he is God and besides him there's no other. Cause he did his word. And I believe God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And his name is Jesus, the name that's above every name. He's our Savior, the true and living King. I believe he walked the earth healing the sea. The reason I know it, cause when Lazarus died, he raised him from the dead. I read it for myself, yes I did. I believe, yes why I believe, that he cast out demons, I yes he did. Oh, I believe, this that he fed 5,000 with two fish and five loaves of bread. is not in vain. Amen. That it is a sacrifice acceptable, well-pleasing to God. Thank you for spending time with me this morning. And remember today and throughout every day to rejoice and be glad because God loves you. <laughs>